If you've been looking for the perfect way to set up high level so you can be on your way to your first 10k months with white labeled SaaS using high level or you're running an agency, then this video is for you. What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. My name is Jason Michael Carr. I run a software business called Growth Rate. I work with local businesses to help them get more positive Google reviews and get websites and everything up and running. And to do this, we use an amazing software platform called High Level. In today's video, I'm going to be covering the entire high level setup process, literally from how to white label it, how to set up your website, how do you get everything all connected, up and running, and as quick as time possible. The reason I'm making this video is because there's quite a lot to the high-level setup process, but today I'm trying to simplify this to make it as easy as possible for you so you can help get it up and running as soon as possible. If you're not already using High Level, there is a full extended, completely free 30-day trial link down below. That'll give you access to a ton of different bonuses and resources. Obviously, you get the full 30-day trial for High Level. You get access to the Start Your SaaS course. This is the full A to Z course. It'll take you from the entire setup process, how to find clients, how to sign clients, how to take payments from your clients, how to onboard clients, and a ton more. We also do weekly coaching calls, a lot of guest calls every two to three weeks, and also you get one to one support and mentorship from me and my entire community. So if you're not already using High Level, I would recommend that you click on that first link down below in the description so you can follow along this video right here. Once you do sign up for that 30 day free trial, you'll get access to this page right here it just says welcome in. I'm super excited that you're here. This is pretty much the video that goes over some of the sort of the next steps when it comes to getting set up. It'll also give you access to everything, like all those bonuses for using my first link down below in the description. Just watch that video and show everything you need to know in terms of getting access to the course and the community and everything. And all you gotta do then is click on, thanks for opening a trial, click here to get started. I'm not gonna go through that setup process right there. It is extremely simple. All you gotta do is choose a password, choose some business tools that you might have already used in the past. They'll ask you to do some two-step verification for your email and your phone number just so you can get logged in. And that is pretty much everything. The different questions that they ask aren't that really important. It's just sort of for their internal stats so they can see exactly what different software is that you, they are actually taking you from. So whenever you get signed up and logged in, you will get access to this agency dashboard right here. And as you can see, it's got the high level logo. It says connect stripe right here. The next step that you want to do is go ahead and purchase a domain for your business. And you're probably thinking, why am I already purchasing things? This is gonna get very expensive. Well, it's not. You can purchase a domain for your business. They aren't expensive. They're usually around 10 euros per year. Make sure you get a domain that you aren't going to regret. So don't get some .online business or .org or anything like that. Try and get a good .com or .info domain. And if you don't already know what a domain is, so tesla.com is an example of a domain. Google.com is an example of a domain. Growthrate.info, which is my SaaS, my CRM software, that is my domain right there. Where I recommend purchasing domains is over on GoDaddy just because they are extremely cost effective. They're the easiest to set up, the easiest to use, the easiest to get onboarded with. So I have already went ahead and purchased myself a domain right here. It's just called growthratecrm.com. Just again, make sure it's not something that you're gonna regret. It's also not something that you really need to overthink. And also just another thing to note on that first step, whenever you're getting signed up to high level, whenever you click that first link in the description and ask for a company name, this can always be changed. If you are stuck on that step right there, you can just use your name in there for now. It can always be changed whenever you actually think of a business name. Usually whenever you're thinking of a SaaS business name, people like to just tie in different things like cloud or CRM or marketing or something like that. It depends what route you're also gonna go down. If you're gonna go down an agency route, then it's completely fine to have agency in your name. But if you're going at this just as a SaaS, a software as a service standpoint, then you wanna have the best sort of most slickest name the one that just rolls easiest off the tongue and that's just why I went with growth rate because it's just so easy to remember. And it also ties back to high level because it helps businesses grow their business at a certain rate. So yeah, that's sort of how I came up with that name right there. You also wanna create yourself a simple logo and to do this, you can use something pretty simple just like canva.com. Canva.com is a photo editing platform. There's a ton of templates on there. There's a ton of different logo templates on there that you can literally just choose and sort of chop up and change. For yourself. Of course, this can always be changed down the line, but you just want something very simple. Another important note, whenever you do create your logo and you're exporting it, just export it as a transparent image. What a transparent image is, it's just a logo or an image that has no of that sort of, it doesn't include that white background behind it, so it doesn't just look blocky whenever you stick it on the high level. It'll make more sense now in a second when I show you, but the first step is whenever you are in high level, you want to head over to settings, 
Then over on the left, you wanna click on company and you wanna scroll down until you see your white label domain. What a white label domain is, that is the actual domain that your clients are going to visit whenever they want to visit your white label software. So for example, my software, growthrate.info, when my clients are logging in, they go to app.growthrate.info. It's the same for High Level's website itself. So when you're logged in right now, their main website, as you can see, is gohighlevel.com, but to log in to their app is app.gohighlevel.com. So to actually get this set up for yourself, you want to head over to wherever you purchase the domain, whether that's GoDaddy, Squarespace, whatever website, it doesn't really matter. Again, I just like to use GoDaddy because it's one of the most simple out there. You want to click on the domain itself. So I'm just going to use the growth rate CRM one. Click on domain over here on the left and then you want to click on manage DNS. So whenever you get to this page right here, you want to add a brand new record. And for the type, it's going to be a C name. The name is just going to be app, not app.growthratecrm.com, literally just app. So in the name, this is what's called a subdomain and the app part is a subdomain. So app.gohighlevel.com, the app part is a subdomain. I know it can get quite difficult to try and wrap your head around these things, but it'll come pretty decently over time. So you wanna just type in app dot here, or maybe it's CRM in here, pretty much wherever you want your clients to go to. So let's just say your business is called tesla.com. If you want people to visit cars.tesla.com to log in, you're gonna type in cars dot here on the tesla.com domain. In the value right here, this is very important. You wanna type in app.msg sndr.com so it's app.msgsandr.com it's sort of message sender just without the e's in there and the ttl you want to leave this on default i will drop this value down below or you can i'll zoom in right here you can just take it exactly like this app.messagesender.com and you want to click on save right here so once that is updating right here it says your DNS record has been updated successfully. Most updates will take effect in an hour, can take up to 48 hours. Usually it hasn't taken me any more than five minutes. It really just, just depends really. Whenever you head back over to high level again, go back over to company and white level domain in here, this is where you want to type app.growthratecrm.com. Obviously don't type growthratecrm.com, type whatever your domain is. So again, if it's cars.tesla.com, type in cars.tesla.com right here. And then you wanna click on update company. So it looks like that has now been updated, but a very important thing to keep track of right here is it won't automatically change up here because app.gohighlevel is the actual main domain that you know you can use. You can always use this in case your domain goes down or anything. So to actually boot app.growthratecrm.com up, you wanna copy this and put it into a brand new tab. And another thing to note that the first time that you boot this up, it usually takes around 20 to 30 seconds for it to actually register because it's brand new, it hasn't been used before. And as you can see, we are at the initializing stage, which is good. It already recognizes that this domain works right here. There's one important thing that we haven't done just yet. And you can see that we don't have a logo on here. If we head back over to high level, and I've just zoomed in here so it doesn't have the relationship number or anything. You wanna head over to company again where you already are and in company logo, you wanna click on upload. From here, you wanna just choose the logo that you've already created and this is what I mean by transparent. If I hadn't exported this out of Canva, not in transparent, then there would be just a big white background right here. But because I did export it in transparent, then we have the just literally nothing behind it. Another thing to note is whenever you do export it in Canva as transparent, it will ask you to go for a pro subscription so you need to pay for it. They have a free trial on there. I think it's it's 14 days or 30 days. I'm not 100% sure, but you don't need to pay for it just to get export your logo in transparent. Click on open and this will upload right here. And as you can see, it's a bit stretched, but up in the top left, you can see the logo now on here. It looks good. <laughs> so all you wanna do then is scroll down and hit on update company. And now if we head back over to app.growthratecrm.com, as you can see, we have the growth rate logo on here and we're able to log in. So I'm just gonna close out of that high level tab up here and we're gonna log in. As you can see, we're logged in to app.growthratecrm.com and the logo is up here in the left. Keep in mind that the logo is very small just because high level just upload it very small. I'm not sure why. There is some custom CSS that you can use to get this a bit bigger. I will drop this down in the description. It'll just make it a bit bigger so it looks better for your clients and everything. Now the next step in terms of setting up is setting up lead connector email and phone system. So 
what Lead Connector email and phone system is. Back in the day, back about a year or two ago, whenever you're using high level and you wanted to send emails and text messages, so for emails, you used to have to use a software platform called Mailgun. You can still use Mailgun if you'd like, if you just like to have a bit more control over it, but Lead Connector email system does all of this now. It's all managed by high level, so you don't have that $35 a month Mailgun fee. High level incur all these fees and they just bill you as pay as you go for all your clients. Keep in mind, emails are very, very cheap. They're literally pennies per, you know, whatever amount of emails. They're very cheap. You never really need to worry about getting billed, a massive bill for emails. Now, Lead Connector phone system, it actually replaces a software called Twilio. And Twilio, again, is just a third-party tool that you used to have to integrate in the high level so you can actually be able to send text messages and make calls and everything. This isn't just for you, but it's also for all your clients. Now, whenever you get signed up for this and just get it set up at the very start, you only need to do this once. You don't need to do a whole setup every single client, every single time. All you gotta do is head over to settings. We head over to email services right here. And as you can see, it says Lead Connector email system, create dedicated domain. Now this is a process that you do wanna keep an eye on right here. Just keep an eye on me as I'm doing this. So enter domain name in here. Do not type your root domain, which for me is growthratecrm.com. The reason you do not want to type this is because whenever you eventually set up your own Google Workspace or some domain-based email address, so you would have you know Jason at growthratecrm.com. If you just type growthratecrm.com in here, the email address that you make or the email address you already have will just stop working because it's going to sort of overlap all the records. So you want to create another subdomain right here and you can call this whatever you want. You can call leadconnector.growthratecrm. You can call this replies.growthratecrm.com, which I'm actually going to do. That's what I normally do. It's just in here. You want to type replies.growthratecrm.com. And again, if whatever your domain is, so whether it's replies.tesla.com, type that out in here and you wanna click on add and verify. Now this is a process that a lot of people sort of get mixed up on. So you do wanna keep track of this. You wanna click on add record manually and we're gonna click on verify records. We're gonna click on verify records so we get them up on this screen right here. So there's a few different things that you want to keep track of right here. So as you can see, we have five DNS records here that we need to add. We have two TXT records, two text records, a CNAME record, and two MX records. So we're gonna do this one by one. You wanna follow along exactly as I'm doing this and keep in mind this record right here will not be the same for you. Don't just look at this. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can copy it and everything, but we're gonna look at this first record right here. As you can see, it is k1 dot underscore domain key dot replies dot growth rate crm dot com. Every single time you're doing this, and I'm gonna do it right now in front of you, all you want to copy is the entire thing up until the replies. Don't copy the dot that is between replies and growth rate CRM. The reason you don't want to include the growth rate CRM in here is because it's going to be in there twice. So we're creating a subdomain. So whenever you're doing subdomain, you don't type in the main domain again. And also the reason why you don't want to type in the dot is because the DNS registrar will see that as a full stop. So it'll just stop from there. So you want to copy C1 dot underscore domain key dot replies exactly like that we're going to copy this we're going to head back over to godaddy we're going to add a new record and the type is a txt record the name we're going to paste that in here so it's k1 dot underscore domain key dot replies and see for the value right over here this is the value that we want to copy and paste but instead of just copying this and we might miss out on some of it this button right here this copy button over on the right will copy this entire thing right here so just click on copy right here and we wanna paste that into value. And instead of save, we want to click on add more records. You usually always keep the TTL records default here, which on GoDaddy, it's half an hour. Whatever platform you use, you normally just keep it on default. Add more records. And I believe the next record is another TXT record. Yeah, so as you can see this one, it's just replies.growthrate.crm. So you just wanna copy the replies. You want to come over and the type is again, TXT name is replies and the value is V equals SPF1, include Mailgun. We're just gonna copy this. And as you can see, you see it's still called Mailgun. So what Lead Connector is, it, so it replaces Mailgun, but high, it, it technically is Mailgun. So in the back end, high level manages, but the software is still Mailgun. It's just called Lead Connector. It cuts out the need for you to actually use this. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna paste this into value, add more records again. 
Keep an eye on this. So CNAME record email dot replies. We're going to copy this exactly to there. Uh, the type yet was CNAME, the name, we're going to paste email that replies. The value is mailgun.org. We're going to copy it from here, come over here and add more records. Keep an eye on this MX record. It's, it's a weird record and a lot of the time this is the one that people get mixed up on. So the type is MX, right? The name is just replies. The priority, if we come over here, it is 10. This is one of the, I think this is the only DNS record that includes a priority. So we're going to type 10 in here and the value is mxa.mailgun.org. So we're gonna copy this, we're gonna paste it here. This is important. Instead of clicking add more records like we've always done, we want to click on add another value. And this is for GoDaddy. It really depends on what domain registrar you use. I think it's the same for Google domains. It's not Google domains anymore. It's called Squarespace because Squarespace has bought out Google domains. If the option for add another value is already here, then click it. But if you need to add another record, just add another record. So again, it's exactly the same. The priority is 10 again. And instead of mxa.mailgun.org, this time it is mxb.mailgun.org. So we want to paste that and save all records. And yeah, they look good. It just is updating DNS records right now. Head back over to high level and verify. Now this process is very weird. It's, it's not verifying. And also the button is blurred out a bit here. This right here sometimes can take like five or six different clicks before it actually registers. So whenever it lights up in blue again, we're just gonna click on verify domain once again. So we're just gonna click on verify domain again. And as you can see, they're all now green and verified, but this is extremely weird right here. It should just let you go on to the next step, but you need to click on verify domain once again. I think maybe if we go back one, it should work. Uh, yeah, growthrate.crm.com. And then it says verify now. So you wanna click on verify now again. Verify domain, and there we go. SSL issued replies.growthrate.crm is now completely set up. So with high level, there is something called a sub account. And what a sub account is, it allows you to set up your business in there. So you're gonna have your website in your sub account. Every single client that you sign, so whether that is gonna be a local gym that you sign or a local hotel or a restaurant, each one of those businesses are gonna have their own sub account. And a sub account is just a place where they can house everything from the website, the CRM, their email marketing, their SMS marketing. Now the good part about High Level is they automatically create your sub account for you. So in terms of setting up here, I'm going over the main basics and everything that you literally need to get set up. I'm not gonna go over the connect a Stripe feature because I've already, I don't have another Stripe account because my main SaaS is connected up to my main high level account. But in SaaS configurator, it'll make more sense whenever you get into the, whenever you get access to the course, whenever you get signed up and everything, uh, you connect up to Stripe and you're able to choose three different pricing plans. You're able to sell to different clients and everything, whether you're gonna sell your SaaS at 200 a month or 397 a month or 497 a month or 987 a month. Whatever you wanna sell this for, you can sell it for whatever price you would like. But if you are, signed up using my link down in the description right here. You'll have already got access to my course. You'll have I already got access to two emails from me. And the second email is the course email, which has access to the full Start Your SaaS program, which has all my bonuses and all my templates and all my scripts in there. It'll also have you access to the weekly calls section right there. All our weekly calls are recorded within the community but also all the guest calls are recorded in the community. Just an example of some of the guests we've had in there. We've had Sean Clark, the CEO of High Level. We've had Sam Carson, the owner of Upex. We've had Marcus Hussel over at Aura Consulting. We've had Alex Schlinski over at Prospect and On Demand. A lot of big, a lot of huge, a lot of massive guests within the industry. I am constantly making time to reach out to these people, get them booked on for our guest calls so that we can all have access to these people, ask them questions. You know, these are all multimillionaires that we would never really get a chance to ask questions to. So this is your opportunity to get into these calls, network with these guys, add them to your network so you can always have them and always in touch with them. So you can always just be learning that bit more about business and getting customers and how to scale and everything like that. So the reason I brought this up is because whenever you are within the course itself, you'll see a snapshot video. And in the snapshot video, it'll actually probably be done below in this video right here if you are in the course. I'm going to include the snapshot and this is the agency growth rates that your SaaS snapshot. It will give you access to everything that you need for setting up your high level sub account. So if you're not sure what a snapshot is, it's pretty much a pre-built account. So I've spent some time building out a lot of different automations and calendars and sequences and funnels and everything that I can plug from my account 
over the last whatever amount of years I've been using high level directly into your sub account. So you can literally just take everything, take all the automations, take the sequences, take the calendars, take everything and directly plug that in to your sub account. So you don't need to go through literally weeks and months of setting up everything. So you want to go underneath this video right here and import the snapshot. And I've already went ahead and clicked on the link. So you just click it and it'll open a brand new tab and it will ask you if you want to import the snapshot. So you want to click on import and it is now importing. And as you can see, we've got agency owner snapshots, starter SaaS, GR, which is growth rate. Now, the most important thing right here is you want to head over to sub accounts because even though you've imported the snapshot into your agency level, that's all of this stuff right here that we've done in terms of setting up so far. It's all in the agency view from the lead connector. And I'll actually show you the lead connector phone system. If we go to settings and then phone integration, it will give you access to this right here. It'll just ask you to use LC phone system. Whenever you're setting this up, just click it, use LC phone system. It is literally as simple as just clicking this button and you're up and running. But the next step right here is we want to head over to sub accounts. And as you can see, there's already one sub account in here. It is growth rate CRM. This is my business right here. Again, every single client that you get and every single client that you sign, you're going to create a sub account. Or if you're on the SaaS pro plan and a client pays, it'll automatically create the sub account for them. A bit more on that in the main course and how to get it all set up and everything. But what you want to do is click on these three dots right here and manage client. So now that we are in the manage client section, you want to go up to the top right and click on actions, load snapshot. You want to select a snapshot and it should be the only imported one. So it should be at the very top agency owner snapshot, start your SaaS growth rate. This might be different name on this. By the time you're seeing this, it might be just called growth rate, start your SaaS or start your SaaS snapshot, but it's the one that you've already imported. You want to click on proceed. All of this, you want to just keep it as it is, select all, proceed. And again, it's going to ask you to select all, whatever, and you want to click on proceed, which is already on skip because yeah, there's um, just conflicts or whatever. So you just click on proceed. That's nothing to worry about. Click on okay. And what it says right here is that it usually takes around five minutes for this to load in. Usually it's instant. Sometimes it can be a few seconds. So we now want to switch to sub account. So now that we are in the sub account, you will see that there, that the menu sort of looks a bit different right here. You got conversations, you got calendars, you got contacts, you got opportunities. Again, high level does so, so, so much for your clients. The rest of the main course within the Start Your SaaS community course, it goes through all these different features, how you can sell them to different clients, how they all work, how to get clients up and running on these, how to get people on there, and how to just, just the entire high level setup, everything is all in there. But the most important thing right here is you wanna just make sure that everything has imported. So if we head over to automation, so now if we head over to sites down here on the left, you will see a number of different funnels. You got a book with me funnel, and then three different pricing plan funnels. I'd say the book with me one is the most important one in here, and I will show you how to connect all of this up and everything in just a moment, but pretty much you can come in here. We're gonna edit this in a brand new tab. And this is the calendar that you can use. So this replaces something like Calendly. So a calendar booking system. What you can do is you can come in here. You can put your face on here. You can change your name. You can update your times and everything. You don't actually update the times in here. You update the times and calendars, but you can just make this your own. So instead of sending someone a Calendly link, you can just send them like a booking dot growth rate CRM link or whatever. But the most important thing is if we head over to websites, you'll see we have a SaaS website. So this is the website template that I have provided for you to get this website live and up and running. And also you can just come in here, edit it as you want, change your pricing plans, change your logos, change any text you want. It's just a template that gives your clients or your potential clients all the information that need they need to know about your SaaS, how it works, what it can do for them, your pricing, all that good stuff. So you can just come in here and edit all this. But this video isn't all about just that configuration and some of the tedious stuff. It is all about getting set up as quick as possible and as easy as possible. So you want to head over to settings and you want to head down to domains. So these domains right here in the sub account is all the domains that are connected to things like your funnels and your websites and everything. So you will do this for every single client that you get that wants a website up and running or that wants like a landing page up and running for them. So you want to click on add domain and the domain URL right here that we're going to add is a root domain, which is growth rate So you want to type growth rate and you also do want to enable. I also want to add www.growthratecrm. You, you then want to click on add record manually and it gives us two records right here. And you want to head over to GoDaddy or wherever you purchase your domain, head over to DNS records again. And this time we're going to add two records. The first type is going to be an A record. The name we are going to type an at symbol. Now what an at symbol in here does it 
it tells the domain registrar to use the root domain, so just growth rate crm.com. In terms of value in here, it gives us the value. So it's 34.68.234.4. You want to click on copy right here. You want to paste this into value and we want to add more records. And this time it's the www.record. So if someone, instead of going growthratecrm.com, they go www.growthratecrm.com. www is here. So we copy this, put uh, the, the type actually is different this time. It is a C name record. The name we're going to paste www in here and the value it's Flash, I'll, I'll just copy it and show you how it looks. Value is flash.funnels.msgsndr.com. You wanna click on save all records. So now that this has saved, if we head back over to high level and click on verify records, sometimes this can take a few seconds. This record right here usually only takes a few seconds and not like 48 hours or whatever. So now, as you can see, it says, yay, domain growth rate CRM added successfully. Then it says select funnel. And for the funnel, you wanna click on your SaaS website, or if you've already made your own website, choose the actual main website. This is the one right here that whenever someone types growth rate CRM.com, it will take them to this website or this landing page. So if I wanted to take them directly to my booking page, I would choose book with me, but we're going SaaS website. The default funnel step, now we're gonna choose homepage for this. The reason this is homepage is because whenever someone types growth rate CRM.com, we wanna take them to the homepage. Instead, if we wanted to take them to something like the pricing page, we choose pricing here, but we want them to go to the main homepage because that's the easiest. And then additional options, you can set a default error page. For this, you can just set up like a page. So it would be growth rate CRM forward slash 404. And you know, sometimes you go to a website and it says 404 error. I'm not going to set that up right now. It's not too important. What I'm going to do here is just choose the homepage again. So for example, if someone goes growth rate CRM.com and goes forward slash price instead of pricing. So the price doesn't exist. Like I haven't created price of pricing. What will happen there is it'll just redirect them to the homepage. Like if someone does growth rate crm.com forward slash text or forward slash hello, it will just take them to the homepage right here. So I'll just click on link domain and it is now linking and we have now successfully linked. So if you type growth rate crm.com, this will probably be deleted by the time you see this just because I'm just going to delete this. I don't need any of this stuff right here. It'll take around an hour for the SSL certificate and everything to kick in so it's all secure. So it has that little padlock symbol on there. Your website, congratulations, is now live. So you're good to go. You're literally good to start selling high level, I guess, but there's obviously a few automations and stuff that you wanna be setting up in the back end. So then we wanna head over to email services and, um, and click on the X. And as you can see, it's already using the replies.growthratecrm domain right here. So this is obviously all well and good. It's all set up for you, but let's just say you've done that entire setup for all your clients and everything. You've already done Mailgun or Lead Connector email system for your clients. You wanna click back to agency view, go to settings and then go to location settings there will be multiple locations. So every single sub account will have their own location right here. So let's just say I had a barber here. It was localbarber.com, whatever, local barber around me as the sub account name. What you would go is click on the pencil beside it. And let's just say we had already onboarded them. So instead of replies.growthrate.crm, this is lead connector email system talking about, it would be replies.localgym or localbarber.com. Once we've already added that up, we click on the pencil, choose domain, and the replies.localgym or localbarber would be here. You can also fall back to default. And what fall back to default means is this sub account, instead of using replies.localgym, it will use replies.messagesender.com. This is like the default sending domain that high level will give to you just in case you have a client that doesn't want to onboard the domain for whatever reason, even though I wouldn't recommend using the fallback domain because it's just been used and abused over the last year or year and a half by a ton of different people sending thousands and thousands, probably millions of emails at this point, which means that a lot of those emails actually do end up in spam just because, you know, it's the, the email and domain is just so, so active. We're now gonna head back over to the sub account. We're going to head over to calendars and calendar settings. Now, this is very important for getting up and running and getting your actual calendar up and running. So as you can see in here, you'll have your calendar and this is the calendar that I have provided to you. Click on the three dots, click on edit. And there's a few different things you can do in here. You can change the description, you can change the name, you can give it an invite link, you can insert your Zoom link in here. You can change the event color, you can do a custom URL. I wouldn't bother changing this at all because we're actually gonna embed this calendar onto a dedicated landing page. 
Instead, we want to head over to availability and in here you can choose your availability. So if you work Monday through Friday from 1 till 6 p.m. or from 8 till 5 p.m. you can do that. Forms and payment. So the form on here is going to be the book with me form questions. I'll show you in a second how you can edit this. If you want to click on add guests, your people that's booking in can add a guest. You can, you can do a thank you message, whatever you want to do, notifications, connections. This is very important. So let's just say you're using Google Calendar. You want to click on load. Now it's going to take us over to the integrations section right here of high level. So then it says connect your locations Google account. I'm not going to do this because I've already connected my calendar to my other sub account on my account because obviously that's where I base everything from. But you just sign in with Google. It's pretty simple. Just click sign in with Google. You sign into your Google account as usual. And then whatever calendar is linked to that Google account, it will now be linked in here. Then you connect back over, link to calendar, you would just choose your calendar and that's all good. So anytime someone books on your high level calendar, it will automatically sync across to your Google Calendar. If you don't use Google Calendar as part of your day to day, I definitely would recommend that Google Calendar. It's just one of those things that you can just use and always have. So pretty much everything that I do during the day is pretty much mapped out in Google Calendar. Obviously not simple things like, you know, waking up and stuff like that. But if I have a meeting, Google Calendar knows about it. Whatever my lunchtime, Google Calendar knows about it so no one can actually book during my lunchtime. Pretty much whatever you want to do during the day, map out your life and your pretty much calendar all in Google Calendar. It's an amazing platform. You just download it on your app. You'll get notified 10 minutes before every single appointment and everything. And yeah, it's pretty much good to go there. In terms of customizations, you can just add a cover image, whatever. I don't normally bother changing anything right here. For automations, you want to head over to automation and these are all again provided by me. We'll head to bookings, appointment booking confirmation and reminder. So this automation right here is customer booked appointment. That This is a trigger of the automation right here. So is, if you haven't used high level, this is the automations. You can do everything and automations, you can send people Facebook DMs, you can send people text messages, emails, add them to a CRM, you know, send them an offer, whatever you want to do. So up here is the trigger, customer booked appointment in calendar, your calendar, make sure this is your calendar, which is the one I provided. Then you can add them with the booked tag. This is a tag you can add. So every single contact has tags so you can see exactly what stage they're at, where they came from, wherever you can add different tags in here. It's completely up to you. You then would send an internal email notification to yourself and this is already pre-built in here. You've received a new call book and here's your information, full name, email, phone number, date and time, reason for meeting, note, whatever they've already filled out. Then we send them the email confirmation and you want to come in here and just update your meeting location, so whether it is a Google Meets link or a Zoom link. The appointment start time will automatically be pre-filled. You can change this right here, use your first name. It automatically does all this, but if you wanna just have your own custom signature in here, just replace this and just replace it for all the emails right in here. Uh, the subject line, your appointment is being confirmed. For from email and from name, for this, you wanna actually do this in settings because if you do this in settings, it is all across the entire board and everything. So sender details from name, so you just type your name in here. So it's just gonna be Jason Michael Carr. And the name or the actual email in here is just going to be jason at growthratecrm.com. You can save this. And it just now means that every single email it sends to this person is just gonna come from growth rate jason at growthratecrm.com. You can also add in different things in here like an SMS, so send SMS. So this is the, as soon as they booked appointment confirmation, it's gonna be, hey, thanks for booking, blah, 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 here's your link, check your email, whatever. You can also do this 24 hours before, one hour before, and I also recommend 10 minutes before. The 10 minutes before reminder is very important because even if you have that one hour, people can just forget about things, things can come up, they just forget. Uh, the 10 minutes one is perfect. It just adds enough time for them to actually be able to just get to their computer and jump on a call. I recommend an SMS also 10 minutes before. So, hey, meeting is in 10 minutes and save action right here. This automation is now done. You're all set up. You're all well, good to go to book appointments. Now, what happens if you have a no-show to an appointment? So, appointment no-show. First thing you want to do is head over to this settings and exactly what you typed into the last one, Jason Michael Carr, type it in here. Jason at growthratecrm.com, type it in here. In Builder, so the status right here is pipeline stage changed. I'll show you what a pipeline is in a second, what opportunities are, but pretty much filters in pipeline. This is the book to call CRM. This will make a lot more sense in just a moment. So whenever someone moves to the stage, didn't show up, this automation will trigger. So in here, you can type out the email, um, just click on templates, none, just type 
uh, hey, you didn't show up, book. Again, obviously have it a bit more human-like in there. Just say, hey, contact first name, notice you didn't show up. Did something come up? Click here to book again, whatever you want to do. Or if you don't want to be as nice, you can uh, say something else in the, in the emails right here. But head over to opportunities. The opportunity is booked a call. So every single time someone books a call, I've automatically already set this up for all the, for the automations and everything. But whenever someone books in, they will go under the call booked stage. I'm just gonna create an example contact right here. Create a contact name. Uh, yeah, I don't need to do anything here. 197, uh, status is open, book to call. We will create. So now they should be under here. Yeah, Jason MCE. So let's just say now Jason did not show up for the meeting. So uh, we can drag him to didn't show up. And in the back end, what's happening is they're getting those emails and the text messages that we've just set up. So, you know, you don't need to worry about coming in here viewing conversation, hey man, you did not show up for our meeting. This automatically does everything. And this is just a great way to keep track of every single stage of your pipeline and of your customer journey. So let's just say you had a call with someone and they said, yeah man, follow up with me and in seven days I'll sign up. So you can just drag them over to follow up with these leads. You can add a simple note and just says, follow up on the say 25th of the 10th, 2024 and add a note. And you can also actually add a task and set a due date. So on the 25th of the 10th, we can follow up with them, whatever. And let's just say we follow it up. We've done our following up, we can drag them here. And eventually, whenever they do sign up, you can drag them onto client sign. And under add notes, we can add another note. Woo, he paid. And then just add the date and add the note in there. It's just a simple way for you and for all your clients to keep track of all their leads and everything. In terms of a CRM who you could actually sell this to, you know, think of your sales team. So obviously you're gonna be doing selling, you're selling your SaaS, you need this personally, but other businesses that can use this that already use CRMs is like, you know, real estate agents, insurance guys, mortgage guys, solar, building companies. They all use CRMs. You just never hear about it. You know, every single time you get a message, like a follow-up message, let's just say you, you know, booked your car insurance, whatever. So you filled out a form to get some car insurance and 10 minutes later, someone calls you. Your contact has shown up in their CRM and a task has been added. Call Jason. He wants some car insurance right now. Let's try and squeeze every single last euro out of him. 10 minutes later, you get a call and you've just been sold on some car insurance. That's how it all works. <clears throat> there's another few automations in here as well. So there's like forms. So whenever someone uh, clicks on the code lead inquiry form, this is just a form that is in the forms section over in sites, forms builder. And the book with me form questions, I'll show you how that looks right now. So on that calendar right there, whenever someone actually signs up, to book, you know, on that calendar right there, I showed you the book with me form questions. This is the questions that it will ask. So uh, first name, you can make this a required field, which I would recommend. Email, phone, required fields, last name, I just don't bother. Say for, we can change everything in here. So phone, just say instead of just phone, we would do, you know, include country code. This is all completely customizable. That is the best part about high level is it does literally everything. But another big thing in here is we want to click on the styles and options. And you can keep this in here, you can remove it. But if we go to options, no, actually, if we stay in styles and scroll down to agency branding, you can turn this off so the logo's on there. It's just so it looks a bit cleaner. Majority of your clients will probably want this done. Or if you just want to advertise your software, on, our, on their forms and their contacts or their calendars and everything, you can keep it in there. It is completely up to you. There's a few other automations in here which I will go over in the rest of the course. So we got some outreach automations in here. So we actually have a full cold email system. Uh, let me show you it is. So that is for like different cold calls and everything. But this one right here, if we go to cold email outreach profit system, again, if you've imported the snapshot, you'll see it in there. You'll see this in the courses section. You'll see a full dedicated video on this. It goes through how to send cold emails using high level. So instead of using different software platforms, like, you know what, I'm not going to name drop anything right here but if you want to use a cold email sending tool high level works obviously other ones will you'll be able to do different things like warming up email inboxes and email inbox rotation and everything but if you want to just send some cold emails to maybe get some of your first clients on board or maybe to blast out an offer to some of your real estate's old clients to get them as a database reactivation or whatever you can literally do everything right in here one final thing that i want to go over before you're on your way to selling your SaaS, we will head over to 
So we, we now want to customize the book with me thing right here. So we want to click on settings. We want to head back down to domains and we're going to add a brand new domain. And instead of growthratecrm.com, we're going to do booking.growthratecrm.com. And we are good, booking.growthratecrm.com. It's not going to give you the option to add the www because the booking already is a subdomain. You want to click on add record manually. And then you want to head back over to GoDaddy. You want to add a new record, the type. I just seen was C name. The name was booking as it is the subdomain and the value is the flash dot funnels message sender.com. We're going to click on save. That is now saving. We're updating. And then we want to click on verify records. Again, this can sometimes take up to 30 seconds or whatever. And it's now already loaded up. Select funnel. We're going to use book with me. Default step, book with me page. Additional options 404, go down to book with me, book with me page, link domain. So now, whenever I want to book someone in on my calendar, instead of growth rate crm.com forward slash booking forward slash widget and that big long code that we've seen before, it's now booking.growthratecrm.com. And if you want to edit, booking.growthratecrm.com, head over to sites, book with me. As you can now see, it is live, booking.growthratecrm.com. So you can click on this, you will see new page, it is now live. And if this is the first time, sometimes it can just take a few seconds for it to load up, but obviously book a call was, was Jane Smith. You can change this, put your own logo on here, your face, but as you can see, if we now click on this select date, this is the book with me form questions that I was talking about before. So you can add to that form before, you can add from topic to call to, you know, whatever, like a bit more information about you, whatever. And whenever someone clicks on book appointment, it'll add them to that automation that I showed you before, the booking one, and they will start receiving the follow-up reminders. So the emails and the text messages and everything like that. Another thing that I want to note in here is, remember when we were setting up the domain previously over in domains, we did growthratecrm.com. So whenever someone wants to go to our website, they go to growthratecrm.com. If we head over to GoDaddy, that DNS record that we added for that was the 34.68.234.41. What's very important here is, so that was an A record. You should only have one A record with the at symbol, which is the root domain, or else it's gonna cause some issues. So sometimes whenever someone goes to that website, it will work. And sometimes when they go to it, it won't work. You want to make sure that you delete every other record. For the purpose of this, I'm just not gonna delete it. It says I can't delete, it's because I have a product in the back end. So through GoDaddy, you can head to products and it can, you know, you, you connect to the website to growth rate. This isn't the one that we've done. Sometimes GoDaddy will automatically add a website package. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and cancel that and then it will let you delete all of these records and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in terms of actually how to get high level set up as a SaaS or as an agency, how to get your website up and running, how to do email lead connector, email system, that's all set up now. Your calendar's all set up, your automations are set up. The only thing really left to set up is just connecting up your agency Stripe account, adding in some products, which if you're on the 497 plan high level, it will automatically do. Whenever someone signs up for one of your plans, if you're on the 487 plan, it will automatically send them their login credentials and everything, their password and their email and everything. You are pretty much on your path already to whatever your goal is, whether you want to start this business model and make 5K a month, 10k a month, 20k a month, 100k a month. I know there's some people within the community like Frank Kern, for example, which I had the pleasure of meeting at the Level Up Summit in Dallas and Texas, where I won an award of a flash up on the screen somewhere. Frank is doing over $400,000 a month with his white label SaaS using high level. This is an extremely scalable and semi-passive business model. The reason why I say semi-passive is because the really, the hardest part is actually onboarding every single one of your clients. So doing the lead connector email setup, building out a website for them, some simple automations. Once they're already set up and they're paying you, it's pretty much really passive from there. Obviously you need to be there for if they need anything changed or for some technical support or whatever, which it's not the most difficult. High level does so much, but it's it's not a difficult system to learn and use and everything. You will be there for your clients. Again, you can sell this for whatever price you want, whether it's gonna be 97 a month, 500 a month, 1,000 a month. So again, if you want that full extended 30 day free trial for high level, they don't really come around too often. Click on that first link down in the description. It will let you sign up for a full 30 day account. You'll get access to all my different bonuses and all my resources from the community, from the course, the weekly calls, the guest calls, any one-to-one -one support at all that you need from me. If you do have any questions at all, you can comment them down below or just simply send me over an Instagram DM. You can find that Instagram link down below. Drop me a follow, ping me over a message, whatever you wanna ask, feel free to ask. I'm pretty good at responding to pretty much every single message that comes in. 
So if you do have any questions at all, whether it's about high level, this business model, general questions, ping them over to me. Again, that first link down in the description is the extended 30 day free trial for high level. Of course, it's my link. We partnered up recently to offer that extended 30 day free trial in order for you to get the best bang for your buck in terms of high level and a community around you to keep you motivated, different ways to sign clients, different ways that you can just sell this to different clients and everything. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and we'll see you in the next one.